What's up everyone? Welcome to Ram Talk with JB. I'm your host, J. Alberto. Thank you for joining me for this special YouTube series where we will recognize students who have gone above and beyond in the classroom, in the community, or on the athletic field. Students have been nominated by the school, staff, and faculty. Well, let's not waste more time and let's welcome our very first guest of the show. Our first guest today is Michael Cortez. Michael was nominated for his outstanding achievements in grade 10 English language arts. Thank you for joining us today, Michael. Thank you. Um, it's a real pleasure to be here. Michael, I first want to ask you, what is your favorite part of English language arts? My favorite part of English language arts is when we read interesting stories like The Muggy's Paw, for example. That's I great. find most of the stories provided to be really interesting, suspenseful, thrilling. And would you say that reading is your favorite part? It really is. And I'll make sure to check that out. So what would you say is the most challenging part of English language arts? The most challenging part of the class would be just trying to come up with like the preparations for coming up with the essays, you know? Yeah, and, and how have you been able to kind of cope with those challenges? like? What things have helped you? I try to settle down and relax for about a few minutes, and then I try and read whatever prompt I need to follow for any of the assignments we work on during class and outside of class. Those are amazing tips, and people should definitely make sure to follow those. Um, what has been your favorite assignment or project that you've done in this class, if you can think of any? My favorite assignment was the monkey's paw essay that I have written up. I do keep bringing up the monkey's paw because again, I do find it very suspenseful and thrilling. And it is also one of my personal favorites as well. That's awesome. People should definitely make sure to check that out. Um, and being a grade 10 student, what would you say is the biggest difference between grade 10 and um, grade nine from last year? I would definitely say the biggest difference is back when I was in ninth grade, I had no experience with what high school was like at first. But now that I'm in 10th grade, I have gained more experience. And now I know what expectations to follow. And can you kind of like compare those a bit? Like um, when you first walked in as a, as a ninth grader, like what, what were your first thoughts about high school? My first thoughts were, Oh boy, I'm going to get sent a lot of work to do and I'm going to be completely piled up with work and having to study for this test, having to study for this, and, and it just went on and on and on. But then I finally tried to settle down and just, just went on with it, just go with the flow. Exactly. Those were pretty much my exact thoughts as well. Um, as a ninth grader, I was super nervous and um, I just didn't know what to expect, but once I went on to 10th grade and 11th grade, um, I, I kind of got used to the routine. Well, thank you for joining me in this interview, Michael. It has been a pleasure speaking with you today. Um, and also keep up the great work. Speaking with you too. Keep up the great work because, you know, you'll get really far in life if you continue to do what you're doing right now. And now let's head over to our second and final interview. Our final guest of the day is Aka Barua. Am I pronouncing that right? Yeah. Perfect. Um, you've also been nominated for Outstanding Achievement in Grade 10 English Language Arts. Let me begin by asking you, what do you enjoy the most in the subject? Is it um, writing, reading? Um, the most thing I enjoy is writing, but sometimes if I feel like reading, then maybe like I start to read, but the most important um, thing about reading for me is just like really um, putting in mind that do I really like this book to like um, really get into the book that's the main thing. And tell me a little bit about the teachers who have supported you in this class. Um, so I want to make a special like shout out to Mr. Ryan and Miss Fry. Uh, they helped me and they supported me and it means just so much to me. And the main thing is that they inspire me so much and I appreciate appreciate them a lot. And they help me with my homework, especially writing. And sometimes I struggle and they help me and it just means a lot to me. That's great. Um, everyone, like anybody in the school would love to have um, like super supportive teachers like that. That's just the best thing to have. 
Um, it is great to see your continued success in remote learning. What has been the most challenging part of remote learning for you? Um, not like physically, like getting to see my teacher and communicating with them. And it's just hard because like um, over like remote learning, like you don't get that much information from your teachers like you do in like when you're talking to them like physically. So that's that's the challenging part for me. Exactly. And the communication is kind of hard. Um, it's yeah. not really like um, effective or anything. So, yeah. yeah. Um, and on a side note, you made the entire school community super proud with your presentation um, at the Black History Month Assembly. Um, what would you say inspired you to take part in such an important event? Um, so I wanted to make a change and difference in the community and help those around me. And Black culture means so much to me because they have, they had done so much for us. Exactly. And in the celebration, I also heard you mention that there will be a collaborative exhibit opening in Linsoon. Could you maybe tell me a little, a little bit more about that? Yes, um, I'm not like exactly sure like the date, but I know uh, they're opening in March. And so the exhibition is about like oral histories, like what Black creator had made and done. And they're also collaborating with Lynn um, Community College. That's awesome. And um, is this kind of located um, in the Lynn Museum around there? Yeah. Or? OK, perfect. Well, people should definitely make sure to check, to check that out because um, it's important to acknowledge um, Black creators because, you know, um, it pretty much started primarily with them and, um, you know, their creations should definitely be um, honored. Yeah, well, you're correct. That's, well, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for being in this interview. Keep up the amazing work that you are doing. You truly have a bright future ahead of you. Well, now I think my job here is done for today. Thank you all so much for watching the premiere episode of Ram Talk with JB. Hope you enjoyed it and I will see you all in next week's episode.